The Great Pyramids of Egypt were built about 5,000 years ago, and they're all square-based pyramids. The largest one, which is the Great Pyramid of Giza, is the furthest one behind me. And the base of the pyramids is 230 meters. So in this question, we're going to calculate the volume of the square base pyramid of Giza. Now to calculate the volume of any pyramid, we need to use this formula. The volume of a pyramid equals the base area multiplied by the perpendicular height, all divided by 3. Now you don't get given this formula on your formula sheet, so you need to remember this formula for your exam. Now if we look at the pyramid from above, we can see that the base area is just a square. And the perpendicular height starts from the centre of the base inside the pyramid and goes straight up through the middle of the pyramid to the top. Now the first thing that we need to work out is the base area. Now this is the base of the pyramid and we're told that it's a square based pyramid which means that it's 230 meters by 230 meters. So to work out the base area, we need to do the length multiplied by the width. And the length of the base is 230, and the width of the base is also 230. Now this equals 52,900. So the area of the base of the pyramid is 52,900 meters squared. Now that we've worked out the base area, we can now calculate the volume of the pyramid. So we need to do the base area, which is 52,900, multiplied by the perpendicular height, which is the height straight up. And the height of the Pyramid of Giza is 146.5 metres. So we're multiplying by 146.5. And all of this is divided by 3. Now I work this out on a calculator. Now to enter this calculation into the calculator, we just type it straight in. We don't need to put any brackets in this calculation. So we type 52,900 multiplied by 146.5 divided by 3. Now I always recommend rounding your answers to two decimal places unless the question tells you otherwise. So my final answer is 2,583,283.33 meters cubed. Now this is a massive volume, and this answer actually means that the pyramids are made from over 2.5 million of these blocks of stone. Now on more complicated questions on the higher paper, they will not give you this perpendicular height. So you would need to work this out using three-dimensional Pythagoras. Now I teach you three-dimensional Pythagoras in another lesson. And in that lesson we will learn that to work out the perpendicular height using three-dimensional Pythagoras, we would need to use the right angle triangle that is connected to the perpendicular height, and that triangle is shown here in green, and we would need to use the right angle triangle on the base, which is shown here in orange. And we need both of these right angle triangles to work out the perpendicular height.